Joining me now to assess that and more from Miami is Evan Neerman. That part of the question, we bring in crisis PR guru, Evan Neerman. Evan, good to see you. Amber Heard is going to have to convince the judge and jury that she was the victim here and not the aggressor. Regardless of where the verdict comes out, both of these two have lost already. Before you go and you drape yourself in the flag of a cause, you better make sure that the facts are actually on your side. Yeah, and, and, and you got it right there. Well, look, it's it's up for debate. I think what's hard no, is- No, the, no, there is, there is no debate position. about what's going on in China. <laughs> No, I agree with that. The, as I said earlier, the treatment of the Uyghurs, unacceptable, and I think he's right. The perfect time to have said something like that would have been moments after it actually happened. But at the end of the day, he has said it, and, and that is a good thing, and it will provide a platform, I believe, for him to move forward from this. Will Smith is too big to be canceled over this. Boy, was it really stupid for him to do that interview. Do you agree? I do. I think it was a big risk. Alec Baldwin, Clearly, he's made some colossal mistakes. Uh, certainly, shooting someone to death accidentally on a movie set comes to mind. But then I think sitting down for this interview uh, and saying the things that he said proved to also be a, a huge error in judgment. Justiça só piorou a imagem do ator. Think that he made things. Ele escolheu o processo que virou um espetáculo prolongado. And Evan Neerman, a CEO of Red Banyan, always good to see you. Thanks again. Really appreciate your insight, Evan Neerman, CEO of Red Banyan Crisis PR, author of Crisis Averted. All right, that's some strong advice, Evan Neerman, public relations strategist and crisis manager. Thanks for being here. Evan, thank you very much. We appreciate the time. It's good to see you. Crisis communications expert Evan Neerman, appreciate your insight this morning.